Look what just showed up here. Hmm. Why don't you go ahead and explain what this is? Oh, so this is a RB25 DET Series 1. And as you might have guessed, it's for the Skyline here. Yep, there it is. And that's currently non turbo. So I got this from MD JDM on the East Coast. And this thing is super clean. Like, come in and look at this turbo here. Yeah, look at this little guy. It's nice and clean. No shaft play. Spins easily. And then uh, there's no rust anywhere. There's no oil leaks. We're gonna look inside the oil cap and just see how clean it is. And as you can see, it's pretty much just silver in there. A lot of the high mileage engines are just like, like really dark brown. But this one's just clean. There's no oil leaks anywhere. It appears to be all untouched. So, I'll go more in depth on this engine later, but just for today, I'm gonna strip off the wiring harness because I have a wiring specialties harness. Take off all these cut hoses and everything else I don't need, like the power steering, the AC, and yeah, we'll get it on the engine stand sometime next week. But for today, I'm gonna put on these headlights. Oh, you just got these done up, right? Yeah, so it has an actual real projector in there and it's made for left-hand drive, so I'm not gonna be blinding people on the road. And I got, so the, the housing is painted black. Yeah. And then I got the reflector painted yellow. I think it looks more cleaner. Look at the stock one. See how this is just all chromed out. Oh, and this thing's just loose in there. Yeah, that lens, that lens is just floating. <laughs> and uh, these projectors are garbage. Just old school 90s technology. As you can see, Alan already got a couple of parts here. You can see the wiring specialty harness box. Yeah, here's the harness. Here's the OEM gasket kit. Uh, this is my HID system. And uh, my RB26 valve covers. And I also got this modified to say RB25. And then I got the hole for the VCT gear. Uh, what else? I got a Nismo speedometer here. I got another gauge cluster I'm gonna put in. Just because it's, it's a black face instead of blue. Uh, R33 transmission mount. And yeah, I'm still collecting parts. Like I still need an exhaust. I need a drive shaft, a clutch flywheel, and a timing belt kit. And then I, I gotta like powder coat stuff and like make it look good. And yeah. So what about this? When are you getting this GTR hood put on? Man, I still gotta get it painted. So this is the gunmetal color, but my car is black. I just gotta find someone that can paint it, but I have the whole GTR front end conversion. So this is the aluminum hood. I have the grill here. Uh hood release cable and the latch too. Yeah, I got the complete GTR front end. I just gotta get it painted. I don't know when, but I'm trying to focus on this engine first. Well, I didn't show too much of my swap when I got my 1JZ, but uh, my 1JZ was, I would say a little bit rougher condition, but it's overall still not bad, but this looks a lot better. Um, a few differences from between the 1JZ and the RB is uh, all the clutter on the intake side was the first thing I noticed. I think it's weird how this intake goes over the valve cover. I don't know why that's necessary. Yeah, that looks real ugly. Like, you want to show off the valve cover, right? So, this stock intake, it, goes, it just goes right over the valve cover and it 
covers up this. And I am gonna have a powder coater, a nice color, and I don't want that covered up, so I'm gonna get a forward-facing plenum that just deletes all this, and it'll just go out like that. So here's my swap. I mean, I haven't really showed much of it, but this is a 1JZ VVTi. Um, I mean, you can see the intake is a lot less cluttered than the RV. I didn't really like doing to it. It's just, it's just how it is. Um, so they're both 2.5 with uh, variable valve timing and a single turbo. And as you can see, I got this the Tomei turbo upgrade. It just bolts right on. Um, it's kind of a shame that it's down there. You can't really see it, but it's actually a pretty nice looking turbo. But yeah. Well, at least you got the sticker here. That yeah, looks nice. Um, so with the RV25 Allen, we'll finally get back to being turbo. Um, some of you don't know. What does that mean? Some of you don't know, but he had a turbo MR2 that he traded for the Skyline. So, in case you guys missed it, I had a 86 MR2 with a Gen 4 3 SGT that I traded for this car. Hold on, explain what the Gen 4 3 SGT is. So, the Gen 4 3 SGT is a. Uh, it comes out of a. Toyota Caldina, like a 99 or something like that. And it's like a four cylinder and two liter turbo that makes around 250 horsepower. And in an EW11, the car being so light, like around 2200 pounds, that thing just flew like like a rocket. I think yeah, it was pretty fast. quick, yeah. Like it was fast enough to keep up with the 1JZ here, just to give you an idea. But I didn't need two MR2s. And I wanted a car with more room and a straight six platform. I mean, I still have my MR2 over there. Just yep, kind of see it over there. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that car yet. I might do another swap. I currently have beams in there, but I kind of want to do like a V6 swap. Uh, we'll get to that later, but. Yeah, so once you get that swap, then you'll finally be turbo again. Yeah, this thing is just so slow. Hold on, let's let's show them. Let's let's show them the t the engine in there. Oh man, you don't want to see that. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, it's, it's missing something here. Yeah, I kind of forget that Skylines aren't all turbo. I kind of like thought that they're only GTRs, but I forget there's like lower models. Yeah, this thing is. I got the rice filter here. Oh yeah, ultimate rice filter. <laughs> it's super loose. Uh, yeah. And so this is a RB20 non-turbo. Kind of gutless, to tell you the truth. My uh, my beams are my two is faster than this, <laughs> and they're both the same engine size. Even though this thing's a straight six. I mean, it's a lot smoother though. Yeah. Yeah, I can keep this thing at like 4,000 RPM and like not feel anything. Whereas the MR2, it just like vibrates like crazy. So, I've already got the radiator here. I was going to upgrade that anyways when I was going to do the turbo swap. And I'm going to clean up this engine bay, like paint it and maybe tuck a few things here and there. Uh, yeah. So your goal is basically to make it look like that? Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, I guess so. They're pretty similar platforms. Yeah, okay. but you stayed Nissan, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's already an RB25 in here, or 20. Yeah, I mean, I think the 1JZ is a better engine, but there's already an RB in here. The swap would be a lot easier. So I'm pretty excited to see how the RB25 compares to the 1JZ, both being 2.5 liter straight sixes and single turbos. So the goal is to get this to look like this. Except for the RB25. Alright, so I'll cover the, all the engine stuff later. 
But let's go ahead and throw these headlights on. All right, so here's the headlights before. Oh, I don't know why it's flickering, but I guess it does that too. And here it is on the wall. I know it's daytime and you can't really tell, but like it's not a clean line and it just barely lights up the road. Like see, that barely does anything. Alright, so here's a better look comparing the two headlights. You can see that this one's blacked out. And I got the yellow reflector in there. And this one's just all chrome. See, the projectors look the same. But this one's just going to perform way better. So here's all the other parts for the HID setup. I got the ballast here. One for each side. A harness with a relay and then a couple more harnesses so this is just gonna be all plug-and-play so really easy to install here are the lights on and not I can already tell that these are way higher quality than this t Chinese junk here. I mean, you can see that cut off. Yeah, and these are also left-hand drive, so I'm not going to blind any oncoming traffic. And like I said, I will get this wired up later on, just not right now because it's pretty wet outside and it's cold so yeah I'll get to that when it's better weather out but I think the next video is gonna be putting this engine on the stand and getting it all taken apart and okay here it is again yeah I like that yellow part kind of sets it apart from the other skylines I, just, I can't wait to get that wired up, but here's a look at the cutoff here. Nice and straight. You'll be able to tell a lot better at night, but this is just so much better. So I'm going to try and get this engine in by Nissan Fest. So painted engine bay, engine looking good, and of course engine running good. And Nissan Fest is about two months away on April 21st, so that's kind of tight. Hopefully I can make it, but well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.